Hello mate, also Storm 96 here. So if you come around one o'clock, I think you could do it a little earlier, and see the postman, he's constipated? No, what he's actually doing is he's trying to count to ten, exactly to ten. Now, you can do this without the bunny hood. You actually need well, I'm not gonna say you need it, but it's gonna make your life a bit harder if you do not use the bunny hood for this. See, what you going what what you're going to do is that what you're going to do is literally count to ten. After a few seconds, the clock disappears, and you have to, like, mentally think of the number ten. Well, I mean, until, you know, it reaches up to ten. If you're not wearing the bunny hood. If you are, you can look at the clock. And I am, and I did it on the first try, and we're moving on, and I got a piece of heart. Ta-da! <sighs> You've shown your wild instinct instincts. So, after screwing up, not once, but twice, at Snowhead, I screwed up three times! Would you believe it? Jesus Christ. So, what we have to do is do the same exact thing. But, after you do it, we have to come back. Now, this is important and mandatory, and you get another powder keg. But, this one you can just carry wherever. You could think of the other one as some type of initiation. Anyways, I, fr I freaking love this scene. I haven't showed it. I haven't showed you guys this one, but I'm going to now. So yeah, we talked to the old bag. She, uh, you know, says, "Oh, would you like me to read you a story and whatnot?" And we do. Shit happens, and yeah, pretty handy actually. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's pretty handy. I mean, so if you want to skip a few hours, come here. So, alright, anyways, now we're going to leave. And, oh boy. Oh yes, I love this scene. Alright, no. Alright, before we jump cut again, I've got to show this. Alright, let's go back in the door. Alright, as we can see, Anju is holding food that looks like crap. Literally. That's not even an exaggeration. I hope I don't meet a woman who cooks like that. Anyways, let's talk and see, see what the conversation is. Oh, Tortoise, I've already had lunch. Remember, uh, yeah. Grandmother, I'm Anju. Tortoise was my dad. And you haven't had lunch yet. I've already had lunch. Now be quick and take that away. Stubborn. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say I already ate lunch, Tortoise? Impossible child. Or child. <laughs> then don't eat my food. I give up. Ew. <laughs> Whew. Uh, would you like me to read you a story? <laughs> oh, grandmother is taking advantage of her senileness, if that's a word. That's hilarious. When I first uh, started this conversation, I was like 12, I didn't understand it, but now, like, years later, I think this is hilarious. Oh, that is truly gold. <laughs> oh, charming. I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, night of the final day. So, now we got the mail again, remember? You can also do it on, like, I don't know, like, a minute it turns, you know, night of the uh, final day. I guess. I actually didn't know that until recently. So, like I said in the last part, this time we're going to personally deliver the mail to um, the postmistress. I've never even heard of that word before. I've heard of postmaster, not postmistress, but I guess it makes sense. Whatever. Milk bar. I still say this is a bar. It's just censored. CENSORED! Damn four kids. Alright, anyways. Oh dear. All right, so this time we give her the mail, and, um, oh, the damn mask, that's right. I forgot, you're supposed to have the cafe mask on. Oops, there we go. All right, show this to her, and, oh dear, priority mail, this, it's from, Ke it's from cafe, correct? Correct? So she, tell she thanks us by giving us a bottle with milk in it. Actually, special milk. If you drink this milk, your magic meter never runs out. Pretty badass. 
Hello, how, how, hello. However, it's bloody expensive, so... Yeah. But it's worth it. Unlimited magic. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Subscribe, comment, all that good shit. I'll see you later, mates. Bye.